Hey fellow world warriors, it's Angry Tartle and welcome to second episode of Cooking with Tartle. And I will try to be a little bit more brief as first episode took quite a while to explain everything then let's see what I can do with this one. And this one is all about carnivores. What is the best food for carnivores that you can get? At least uh, in my opinion. <laughs> of course it can be something that I totally missed or you are using and I'm not using and that's fine, just please let me know what is it. And first on my list, tasty squirrel stew. That's what you need if you are a carnivore and you want your experience go up much faster. It's a little bit more difficult to mass produce compared to herbivore option with cranberry relish, but not too hard. What you need is salt, then I will not show locations again, it's just in the kitchen and restaurants you will find salt and pepper. And squirrel bits, uh, basically need to find squirrels. One of the locations when you can find squirrels is where I'm sitting now and I will show you in the map. Apart from that, tato that you can just plant in your camp and borrow from other players' camps and wood. Then only ingredients that's limiting you in here is salt and squirrel bits. And for squirrels, that's one of the locations exactly in here that you can find three squirrels. There is way more on the map, but let's stick to one for now. About recipe, that's a little bit bigger issue. Because to unlock it, you need to do events in forest area like Project Beanstalk or whatever other event or whatever daily you can do in forest area. Then it can take a while because it's not a guarantee drop, it's only a chance that you will get it from those events. But you really want this Tasty Squares 2 recipe. And now, second on my list, because it's boosting intelligence, what's mean it's boosting experience. There we go, Broad Scorchby's Brain. And this is very easy in regards of ingredients. Gathering those ingredients can be a little bit more tricky. It depends if you can easily kill Scorch Beasts. If you can easily kill Scorch Beasts, every Scorch Beast have a chance to drop a brain. However it sounds. But um, to the point, you just cook the brain and it's giving you 7.5 intelligence. Of course, if you are on a team and with strength in numbers equipped. Good news about farming Scorch Beast brains is that there is a lot of future sites on the map. And you just visit all of them, do the circle on the map, visit all possible fissure sites that I'm showing now on the map. Those are all good spots to go and find Scorch Beast. Here, and one last in here. Uh, this one is not active anymore. Since settlers move in, Scorch Beast move out. And apart from getting your brains, you will be getting uh, other random meat from Scorch Beast. And if you decide to use Butcher's Bounty, it only gives you extra Scorch Beast meat, not any of the Scorch Beast organs. Therefore, it's useful if you need healing from Scorch Beast meat, because if you cook it, you have Scorch Beast steaks that heal 500 HP. The same as everything else, but what you really need is lungs. If you can get lungs, you cook it, it gives 7.5 extra agility for sneaking and more AP, then it's really good. Every Scorch Beast food is great and you want it. Then only issue is ability to slay those Scorch Beasts. And number three on my list, it's food that will boost your maximum HP. And one of those actually utilize this, this extra Scorch Beast meat that you can get while hunting Scorch Beasts for brains. And it requires cranberries, scorch beast meat and spices. Then it's not very easy to craft obviously because you need this scorch beast meat, three pieces to craft one cranberry meatball grinder and some spices from kitchens across the Appalachia. And there is one more bad news if you craft cranberry meatball grinder. It's currently slightly bugged and if you hop server the bonus disappear then Whenever you hop server, you will need to eat new one. But if you are going to stick to one server for a while, it's worth using as duration is quite long. I think it's over an hour. 
if you don't like this, you can craft Fashnak Sausage. It's relatively easier to craft. The problem is, if you didn't get it from Fashnak event this year, the next opportunity to get a recipe will be next year. And Cranberry Meatball Grinder, you just buy a recipe from a chef in White Spring Resort. Then it's much easier. And the recipe is very cheap. Then those two, number three on my list. And number four on my list, pepperoni roll. That's insane food if you want to increase your carry weight. It's 75 carry weight. That's a lot. There is no equivalent for herbivores, unfortunately. Although herbivores have a lot of easy AP regeneration that's not available for carnivores. Then there is something for something. About ingredients, Brahmin milk, you just bring whatever Brahmin you like. Then you need galper inards, pepper and razor grain. Okay, let me show you where to go for the galpers. For those galper inards, you go into galper lagoon. You will find like four or five galpers there. And if you will get lucky, you will get those galper inards. If not, you will server hope to find more galpers and slay them. If for whatever reason you do not have razor grain, it's here, Silva Hampstead, like 100 of those. And if you don't want to craft it, you just go into Big Ben Tunnel, you find a vendor that's selling some food and he will be selling as well pepperoni rolls. Other option is start event on this side, do the riding shotgun event and you will get pepperoni roll as a reward from this event. And if you need recipe to craft pepperoni roll, you go into the crater, you find Molly and you trade with her, she will sell you a recipe. Although good reputation with the crater is required. I'm not exactly sure what status, but yeah, you need to grind a little bit of this reputation, but it's not, not the max out. Max out is not required, but quite high reputation with the crater. And then you can buy recipe from Molly. And number five on my cooking list, very easy to get. Cooked soft shell meat or poached angler. Basically those two meats doing exactly the same thing, just kill different animals to get it. Uh, soft shell meat can be randomly dropped by Myluks. They either drop Myluk meat or soft shell Myluk meat. You want the soft shell meat. And all the requirements, it's just the meat and wood to cook it. And it gives you 50 your maximum AP. Therefore, I really like it because it's easy to get and gives you quite a lot of the bones. No recipe required either. And that's not much to talk about it. Let's go to number six. Right deer skins. This is like the only decent option for AP regeneration for carnivores that I know about. Then it gives you eight AP regeneration not as good as option for herbivores, but at least there is something. About the recipe, it's a little bit different than usual because you just need to go and collect Delbert's notes. And one of these Delbert's notes is the recipe for fried deer skins. If you don't know where to find Delbert's notes, I'm pretty sure Enough Survivalist have a complete guide where you need to go to find every single note from Delbert, every, every single recipe from Delbert, then check her channel and there is a video about it. Then I will not cover it again. About the ingredients, that's not very easy. You need bourbon, rat stack meat, snaptail. Snaptail is basically in the forest next to almost any water or river, then that's easy. Uh, Fissile is a little bit more tricky as you need to search Toxic Valley for those thistles and I'm not very lucky with finding them myself usually. The best spot to find them that I know about is all around Willard Corporate Housing and you can find couple in there. And finally number 7 on my list, Death Close Steak. This one is here mainly because it's super easy to craft, you just kill Death Claw, take the meat, cook the meat and that's ready, Death Claw Steak and it gives you 5 strength what equals 25 carry weight and yes i know there is a lot of food that can boost your melee damage 
including strength that boosts your melee damage. But it's not on my list of the best food for carnivores because I have it on my separate list for the best food for melee builds or unarmed builds. If you want to see exactly what you need to boost your melee damage, uh, check my latest unarmed character build. I stated all the bonuses there, the build where I 4 hit Scorch Bisqueen. Then you check this build and you will see all the bonuses from food that I use to achieve this crazy damage. But on this list, this one is in here only for carry weight and only because it's super easy to craft. Otherwise, it will not make it to the list. And that conclude Cooking with Tartul episode 2. Definitely let me know if I missed your favorite food and what is it if I did miss it. And now as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.